The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 67, NASDAQ up 27, S&P's up 6, gold up $14 at 1442. You get silver up 31 cents, $16.51 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 22 cents, $55.52 a barrel. 55 handle, right? Yeah, we, we got down to a 54 yesterday. Pretty wild, man. Wild. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year note uh, down one, the 30-year off two, kind of flat market, 127.19 on the 10, 154.28 on the 30, king dollar. King dollar, 250, 241 ticks, trade 96.690. The euro is at 112, the yen is at 107.62, and the pound is out here at 125 to one U.S. dollar. Now, we get over and take a look at the S&Ps, folks. Uh, you know, you get, some, you get some volatility out here, man. Uh, sure, yeah. You know, you can, you you get a little earnings action, throwing a little volatility in there as well. No doubt. But so, yeah. if we take a look at that SPY, what you had out here is that you, the SPY rejected lower price yesterday. You were going against, uh, what were you going against, what's this at? 79 million shares, and you end up doing 51 million. To me, 303 is still on the agenda. So that the a ABC structure up is 303 to 305. It's two separate ABCs. We're 299.39. Uh, Microsoft, uh, no doubt, that uh, gave things a pop last night inside the NDX. You're up 260 right now, 139.06. Yeah. Um, Microsoft also, I believe, that, yeah, this is an ABC up too. This is a weekly ABC up. Let me see this thing. Yeah. So this took out a B point going all the way back to the week of June 7th. Yeah. Um, and they talk about impressive numbers, man. They they come up with some numbers. You want to go into it? Let's go yeah, into it. Because I know, I was looking at a different article, but uh, nope, no, it was probably right at the top there. Okay, so let's see. Pledge, oh my God, you see, they're, Sorry, they're pledging. The software make a pledge double digit percentage gains in sales and operating profit yeah. for the year that started July 1. That's pretty amazing. I tell you what, I'm just going to jump back because I think I have it right up here. Uh, no? I don't. Okay. I just want to get exactly their growth numbers. They grew like 39%. And here we go. Okay. Um, profits, a buck 37 a share. Dollar 22 is their forecast. Right. Revenue increased 12% to 33.7 billion. Yeah. It was 900 um, million more than they expected. Yeah. I mean, wild, man. And um, the growth numbers, um, yeah, huge. So let's see. Sales Office 365 jumped 31 percent. Azure Cloud sales rose 64 percent. 64 percent. And then I think they had sales to corporate. I mean, just mammoth numbers. Yeah. You know, in terms of, you can see them. It's just pretty. Uh, it's a big one. Oh, it is. Pulling back a little bit on the open though. Looks like yeah. they got a little bit excited pre-market. Yeah. <laughs> gold. We can take a look at this gold contract, folks. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you know the, the action's out here. There's, there's no doubt. Now, what's going to get interesting here is that. You're up, you're up ten dollars and twenty cents. You got two hundred ninety-five thousand contracts. We made it to fourteen fifty-four last night. Yeah. And as you said, when I walked in the studio, you know what happened at uh, six o'clock last night. It was right? literally six fifteen p.m. Eastern time, yeah. six twenty. Um, everything jumped yeah. uh, in unison, including gold, currencies, and indices. Interesting. So yeah. we'll, we'll find so out. It I'm spiked sure. something. It, it spiked to that uh, fourteen fifty-four, then basically gave it up in a second. It was Back down to 1440. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, for sure. Now, if you take a look at this continuous contract, what you have is this. This is, this is the breakout. So I really want to see where we do close out here today because I think the number is 1438 on the breakout. 14, oh, 1427, I think it is. Let me see. So the best way to do this, I think I got to go back 10 years. Yeah, because there's a six-year breakout. There it is. Yeah. So it's 1428. Okay. That's the number. And what you want. It, well, if you're a bull, what you want, you want it as far away from that number as you can get. Do you know what I'm saying? Sure. You know, so that's the launch. You yeah. know, to launch that, and guess what, folks? That's saying that uh, 1794 is coming at you. 
you know. And I mean, I know that sounds bizarre, but guess what? We were at twelve sixty-seven two months ago. Yeah. So. Yeah, quite a. You know, look at that bar we just finished up, right? It's huge. Yeah. Uh, the uh, notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at that because what we did do is that you got a little juice in that both of those markets yesterday. Uh, it's juice in a lot of markets yesterday. Oh yeah. So. You had volume come in at 1.7 million contracts, good yeah. contract volume, you know. So this is digging into the bar that came off those highs. You know, that the, the bar, that bar there is uh, the low is 127.08, and we're still 10 ticks above it. So the longer you stay up here, the more probability is that that baby just wants to take it out. Silva, uh, S-I-U, now uh, this is... Uh, How's it? Oh, one more time. Um, I was going to say, how's it holding up today after oh, quite a pop yesterday? And look at it. It's just following through. There we go. Yeah, it's 100% move for move. Uh, so, a bit of a haircut off the top there. Yeah, no, <laughs> listen, this is, you know, we, we got uh, one of our targets last night was calling from Detroit, John from Detroit, I think. Okay. And he had options on, uh, you know, he had, he's in, in really good trade. And we're, he was talking about, what should I do? I said, I'd sell it on the open today. I mean, we're now um, 25 cents off of the high. Yeah, that is a move, man. It is. Um, so just it be is. careful. And it's a hundred percent move of a move. So if we go back six months, you're gonna see sixteen forty-seven. Sure. You all the way down to you know fourteen thirty-five, and most times a hundred percent move of a move. You gotta expect you know pullback. Look sure. At, this thing is a rocket ship. That's thing. exactly. You know. Yeah. And um, you know the the gold and silver equities continue to do ABC structures up. Uh, McEwen Mining. Uh, that that took out the B point yesterday, and it's a decent ABC up. Look, look at this. Look at the volume that came in here, man. So if we put this on a weekly, what you're gonna see now is, you know, you got here's there's your B. What's that? 14 million. We've already done 17. Your B point there is 185. Your A is uh, 123. So was that 60 60 cents? Which would get you at about 210 220. And right now you're at uh, 193. And this one here gets really interesting because, of course, I've interviewed Rob. But that shot position, man, they only have to get that. It's still a 16.7 shot yeah. position in that yeah. equity. Yeah. You know, so you get something like that going, and you know you can really get some action. Yeah. Let's go take a look at what else is out here. For a stock that's trading at two dollars too. Yes. No, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's like really. Um, so Freeport Mac Moran's catching a bid. That's up 32 cents. I, we'll see if that can really get going. Microsoft's the big one up here, 282. Yeah. Uh, Sketches. Oh, Sketches must have come in with some numbers. Up 485. We'll go back to that one. CrowdStrike. Is this a new one? What is That's it? earnings as well. Oh, look at that. That's yeah. up 11 bucks at well, 84. Maybe it was revenue or something. I think it was earnings. Yeah. CrowdStrike. What is this? Let's uh, see. It's a, an antivirus. Um, oh. Software. Oh, smart. Yeah. Operates a software company, company, cloud based solutions for finance, retail, healthcare, public sectors. Yeah. I'm going to say they're like internet security. It's got action, that's for sure. It sure does. Oh, and this is a new IPO. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So that went, look at that. That went IPO only June of this year at 34 bucks. Okay. <laughs> Now that's a successful IPO. <laughs> that is a successful IPO. We'll come back. We'll, we'll do the dollar because the do what you had with the dollar. The, my take today is it's going to be really interesting. This battle of the dollar coming into the close. Um, you know, yesterday you come down, you had some volume. Today it could have volume. We only ten thousand. We only had like twenty one thousand yesterday. I think. Okay. And you know, it's it's almost grabbed all the. The loss is back yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's up 70, Nasdaq's up 18, SP's up four and a half. We'll come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 101. Nasdaq's up 28. S&Ps are up 8. It's getting a little juice here. Let's see what's uh, inside the uh, Dow Industrials. Let's see the strength versus the weakness. Of course, we know right off the bat, the good old Microsoft uh, is going to be in uh, there. I, th I thought we were going to say Boeing. Microsoft, oh, too. But, but Boeing but is. So yeah. we'll see what's happening. Boeing, 95 Look points out that. of the 100. I wow. Mean, That'll, that'll do it, man. Pretty remarkable, too, when they come out and they say $5 billion, essentially. Was it 4.9 or something um, that they're going to have a write-off? for yeah. the 737 max but you know some of the analysts and listening to this morning saying that's a little bit optimistic that that's how everything's going to go and from my own standpoint we've talked about it right. I think that's a little bit i'm still waiting for when they announce the rebranding of the 737 yeah. max i'm serious so no, I so i don't know um so we it, it, yeah this is surprising no Boeing, they like Boeing's got all the power inside the dow boeing's putting 93 points Microsoft 18, you know, Caterpillar 5 taken away from it, uh, American Express, uh, minus 20, uh, United Health minus 10. Let's go look at Boeing for a second. So, I mean, we've seen this with Facebook too, right? I yeah. mean, once you get a little bit of uncertainty when the market knows that you got billions in some type of expense, whether it's a fine, whether it's a right. write off, whether it's a one time type, um, you know, quantify that number for the sure. market. And the market likes it quantified. And I don't know though. Facebook's actually was quantified. That FTC investigation's over. Boeing's just saying we're allocating at least a $5 billion yeah, write-off exactly. if, if the plan goes how we think and we get right. the max back into rotation. Right. Different ballgame. Yeah. Let's go over to American Express. So American Express um, come out with numbers. Now, this is just amazing. You know, we're all into these uh, rewarded programs, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, almost. Yeah. You know they're illegal in Europe because they incentivize, you know, the worst credit spending that you can do, which is, you know, 23% year on year. Anyway, that's a different conversation. Yeah, no, no. And, because and it does. I love, I love my points, man. Oh, yeah, we're all totally. And what ends up happening, of course, is that we're really paying for them. You know, I mean, you know, that right, it, right. It, 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 we, and we the think they're free. The worry is really that you spend it, you think you're going to pay it off, right? And you're going to get the points for free, right? Quote unquote free, right? You don't pay it off. That's the real hook. Yes. that's a bummer. Um, yeah. You know, and so it incentivizes a little. I'll put everything on my credit card because I'm just going to pay it off at the end of the month, right? But what happens is you don't know how things always don't. Yeah. yeah. So look at this. But yeah. Where do you see this cost, folks? In 90 days, what they put into the so. And the reward. So American Express has been focused on rolling out new cards with many of the larger coal branded partners and renewed its deal with the largest one Delta Airlines. That helped push spending on cardholder rewards to two point six five billion in the second quarter. I know. That's ninety days. Yeah. Two point six five billion. And they knew it was coming essentially. As an analyst, that was two point six four. They beat it by a bit. Um, yeah, man, that just speaks to the amount of money that we unfortunately spend in um, credit. Oh yeah, um, you know, on on the price of credit, and you know, it's an exorbitant price because those percentages, man, they eat you up on credit cards. So pay off those credit cards almost ahead of anything else. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, but it's pretty wild, man. Oh, it is. It's just, I mean, that money. That's where it comes from. You know, yeah, it's um, billions yeah. of dollars in ninety days. Pretty remarkable. And you know, if you do it right. There are great rewards oh, for, for very this, little, but right. that is the the risk that, you know, it it's is. A, it's a big risk. Um, and, you know, there are, I mean, I've been, I I have an Amex, one of the clear ones. I don't really use it. Okay. I had it in a while. You always keep it if you have it, right, because you keep it on your credit. Right. Um, I use Capital One Venture, which yeah. is great rewards. Right. So that's 2% on everything. Right. It's supposed to be for travel rewards. But here's the kicker. You use everything almost anyway, so it's almost like cash, because now Uber is included in travel rewards. Uber Eats somehow is included in travel rewards, Okay. so it's just as good as cash if you ever use Uber, Uber Eats, let alone if you actually plan a vacation of a flight plane and anything, so it's 2% basically cash back. If you pay it off, that's great, man, right? right. Just make sure you pay it off no, and then reap those yeah. rewards. I've had friends in the Amex, though. We've gained access. If you have some type of, a, I think it must be a regular Amex, you get immediate access to those... Um, Suites in the airport. The clubs, the, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that was a great deal, man. We all got in. They, you, you're allowed entry plus a guest or something. Um, I mean, just very cool. No, that's, can, yeah. yeah. I used the JP Morgan Marriott one. That's what it, and, and nice. It's a good deal. Yeah. Well, particularly because what ends up happening once I got the, that elite status, and once you get the elite status, everything's double and triple. So right. it's like, oh my God. Yeah, they got you now. No, right? I mean, yeah, that's it. It is. It's, it's a reward system. You, you that's how they dollar, function. You get three. You spend that's a how, dollar, you get two. Sure. You know, it's. it's that's how the reward yeah. system. You got it. And, you know, it's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Let's go back over to gold again. Let's see what they're going to do. This is a Friday, folks. We've got to keep our eye on this. I just they're pulling think they, back I think they just took it down oh, it five is. bucks. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be... It, it, yeah, watch this. Let's go to the... You, we'll go to the GLD, because what, what is going to happen, I was looking at this earlier, the, the weekly is not going to have enough volume. So, um, you know, it doesn't mean that you get a large pullback, but, you know, the, you can see the last high that we were up here. We had 71 million shares traded, and and thus far today we're at uh, 45. You know, so you know, it's. Now does that go? I mean, we're an hour into the trading day. Is that what happens? Is this? No, that we're gonna. We'll Wait, is get, that a week? Oh, that's we'll, a week. That's I thought a we're in day. Yeah. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. We're gonna get. I thought it was a daily. No, no, yeah. we're, I'm with you. You know, right. we're gonna I'm get. We're just not gonna get. I'm with you. So, and. You know, the, the reality is, that, yeah, if we got it, that would be a miracle, but... I, I no, no, I'm with I you. Wouldn't I, I was it, just, you know I mean? my head was yeah. thinking daily, and so, yeah. yeah. The, um, uh, was it e eBay, or well, last night, so, well, CO, Capital One came out last night, too, I think. We were just talking Capital One. Well, look at this. That's up 290. There we go. And... Yeah, so the Capital One... Beat. Maybe that's the second one. Yeah. Oh no, that's going back. Yeah, yeah, yes, yep, yep. You know they uh, they were looking for three dollars and twenty two cents year over year. They made three thirty seven. Not bad. Yeah. Oh well, look at the no. Oh, so they were looking better. for two eighty eight. Yeah. yeah right. Were, wow. They quite a beat three right. three thirty seven. Um, that revenue seven point one two billion, and the estimate yeah. was under seven. Yeah. Oh gas. Okay here. Oh, we get, I meant to bring this article in. Um, we're going to look for this article. There's an article, folks. If you're into the gas market, right, 
You want to hunt the Wall Street Journal yesterday. I'm going to bring this article in for us. I read okay. it last night. Let me tell you something. So there's a battle going on right now in Texas. And what it is is this. The, this because we've been fracking so much, right? Yep. You, we have so much oil, it's unbelievable. Well, the byproduct inside the oil well is gas. Okay. And right now in the state of Texas, they are flaring $1.7 million worth of gas every single day. Flaring. Fla and what's flaring. Fla what flaring means is that you have a fracking well. You get a license that you can flare it. That means that you can just let it up into the air okay. and let it go. Okay. Instead of sending it through the pipeline. So okay. there's a suit that's going on right now with the pipeline companies, two pipeline companies in, in Texas. And they're, they're suing the, the frackers because they, they want the gas, even okay. though it's cheap money. Okay. Sure. But the frackers are saying, well, you're not paying me enough money for the gas, so I'd rather just let it go because it's more in transportation. But when you read this article, folks, okay, if you do not want to buy gas okay because what it what it shows is that number one how much gas we have how much gas we're burning and how much more gas this is nothing compared to how much gas we're gonna have okay oh it's a great article I mean it's really cool to understand just the amount of natural gas that they're burning up every day the chart would say it right as it oh, continues to drop can you in imagine? Price. you know there's gonna be bright people that are trying to figure out how can I capture that natural gas 1.7 million a day at these low prices. Yeah. You know, gone. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow. Dow's up 89. Nasdaq's up 27. SP's up 7. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30 day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insight are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's Dow up 71. Nasdaq is up 21. S&P is up 6.5. Let's go take a look at the NDX, the three Qs here. So what we had, of course, last night, you had the aspect of uh, Microsoft coming out. And here, we'll pop the Qs. You'll see when this, when Microsoft come out, but of course, they can, they're a good waiting structure inside the Qs. And you can see that they pushed a little, uh, is that 4 o'clock right there? I think so. a little bit forward. You're the one more there. It is that yeah. part. So you, you can yeah, you can that. see. You know, we was, we were at what uh, seventy nine ten. Yeah. And uh, seventy nine forty six. Yep. So yep. You're talking about thirty five points, almost half a percent. The whole index right. in a ten minute bar. Yeah. Lots to do with Microsoft coming in with those earnings. Totally. Yeah. And now what we've done here this morning. So picture what we've done here this morning. You, you come back. You know, into that with a, we went broke top side. You don't have enough. It, it's light volume. So that's still saying that. You know, before the end of this day, it's looking to me that this thing's going to make a run for that uh, 79 area again. And we hit uh, 79.80 this morning, you know. So, and what, the reason I'm saying that is that, you know, this decent volume up at those highs. You'll be pushing into those highs and you had juice. If we look at, t look at the Qs, the Qs right here now is laying at the highs, you know. So you get 7 million shares. Now that's going to be light volume. Seven six is a, oh no no that'd be good. Seven six of forty two. That should be about forty two million. Uh, we come into this close out here today. You know, not that's not heavy volume, but uh, it's certainly not light volume. You know. Yeah. And uh, inside the NDX, the strength versus the weakness out here. Microsoft's one point eight. That's really not up that much for what it was, right? JD.com's up one point seven percent. VeriSign's up 1.6, JB Hunt 1.5, Illumina down 1.2, 1.8 rather, ASML 1.3, nothing, nothing big there, man. You know, so, what is it today? The the 19th. Can you the 19th? Summer is flying, man. They got that amazing heat wave going on for everybody up in Florida, oh, yeah. um, Florida up in Massachusetts, New York. Stay safe up there. Heard that it's going to be about a real temp of about 101 in heat index, like 105 to 110. So that's some dangerous temperatures. No, a real temp of 101. Real temp of 101. Um, we rarely, even in Florida, reach a real right. temp of 101 because once you get up to the 97. Right. You know, you're, you're through the roof no matter what, because humidity is through the roof at that type of temperature, usually down here, up there as well. Um, so stay cool out there. Um, the problem Might as well just leave work right now and go run down to Cape Cod. That's what I would do. Yeah. Because the traffic's probably already begun. Oh, that's... Or, yeah. or out to the Hamptons and Long Island. No, that's, that's a fact. Friday, 1030, man, and they're already on the of road. Course you know, the, on a weekend like this, whew. One of the problems up there is that they don't have central air as much as we have down here. Very true. You know, yeah. With, no, and that's actually the dangerous part, you know, on something like this, right. where it's like, you know, right. you get older people, stuff like yeah. that. So really be careful out there um, if that's who you are. Go and find some air conditioning. Yeah, if Amazon. You can. Let's go take a look at Amazon. So, check this story out with Amazon, folks. This is this is pretty amazing. Like these guys are like they definitely want to take over the world. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see. I'm not, the one I'm looking for. So there's a story here, the this morning, and this is also in the journal this morning. And the journal has been getting some good stories. And what what is what it's about is that let's say that you and I. They have this Amazon um, accelerator program that we can join, right? And what it is, is that they're claiming that they will boost your sales, they'll help you, you know, along this whole process. But part of this is that, it, is that let's say you have a product and they want you to sign a contract with them that they will call it an Amazon branded product, right? And the so sales go up dramatically. But at any time that Amazon wants to buy that, they can buy it at ten thousand dollars. Okay. They can buy your brand at ten thousand dollars. Okay. Now what doesn't seem like a lot of money. If that's ten thousand dollars. Exactly. That, yeah. and, and of course they're, not, they're only going to buy your brand if in fact sure, it gets worth. successful. Yeah. And what they do is this: is that so that's part of the pro program. The second part of the program is that when they do buy your brand, though, if you're the other one that's manufacturing your brand, they have a contract that you, they, for two years you are the person that, that still have to buy off, right? Okay. But then after that, it's over. Right. So there's going to be a big controversy about this because there's no doubt that if you get all these entrepreneurs out there and say, okay, I want to be on Amazon. Yeah. Once you're part of that program, you go right up to the top. Sure. Okay. So and then if you get the product. And yeah. they interviewed this one guy from China, 
And uh, he says, hey, look, man, you know, I suspect he didn't say anything. He said, well, I'll make another product afterwards. He says, but guess what? As soon as I did it, you know, the bottom line is it's not, it's not moving up. I says, I figure is it worth it. Yeah. That's, you know, you know I mean, that's, but if, if that, they're going to, you know, if they're going to, it's, it's unfortunate, but if you're going to sell out on your idea for his, I mean, who, sh who would be, you know, sign that contract? It's I know. But you, people need revenue. They need cash. You know, you need a startup. So I get that too. Right. It just and seems like a very low dollar amount to... Uh, there's no doubt. Especially there's, in today's society where if you have a brilliant product, right. there's a lot of ways to make your way to market. You know, if it's really a, a right. brilliant product that's going to be right. something that will right. be gangbusters, you can create some online ads yourself. You can create a website for $1,000. You, you can. can, you know, so and be it, careful giving your rights away oh, for, for what God. you own, yeah. especially at a company like Amazon. And I, I think what they're... I absolutely agree with you, but yeah. I think what they're doing here is that on Amazon, there's a plenty of people that know that, okay, this product sells a lot. So it's not, they're just into product. Okay, we'll do this product, we'll do this product, we'll do this product. You see what sure. I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And, yep. and that's where they're kind of at with, yep. the, with that type of deal. Like, okay, you might not be in that business, but you're going to take a product that you think can go, you can, we'll let you brand it. If you're the first yeah. one to brand it, okay, well, that's your, that's your deal. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's, it's slave labor. <laughs> yeah, right. No, they're taking it's, advantage, yeah. you think, of right, yeah. people who need a startup, and then they're going to take your idea in two years, and totally. it'll be theirs. Let's go take a look and see what FCX is doing out here. So this thing got a little pop this morning. Now, I'm expecting this to get a pop, but I'm expecting it to get a pop of the aspect of copper moving and copper hasn't moved yet so i want to see what's moving this thing yeah this morning so oh, we're already back a couple of days yeah. yeah doesn't say much okay so shares rose four percent shares advanced trading volume more than tripled no yeah nothing's there yet so, so this yeah. is you got know, an upgrade, they said, on the 16th. I'm just going to, you know, a few yeah. days ago. Yeah. Um, so maybe you had an upgrade. Maybe there's a few other people on the street realizing what's going on. Maybe somebody's right. coming in with a buy. Yes. Because H there's an upgrade. That's G obviously hinging on something. Go to the copper contract. Because this is, I like the setup here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so copper's up five pennies. Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, there we it. go. Yeah. That's, I, I was expecting no, copper right, to move, right. but that's it. That's, that's, this, this is the, that, FTX is the largest copper, well, yeah. the second largest copper company in the world. Southern Copper is the biggest. Um, but oh, there you go. This is, see, this, this is encouraging in the aspect of the metals market in general, because just like silver, silver took off, you know, I think copper's going to take off. You know, it's like, now the, the, the copper move would be different than the silver move. The copper move would be that, industrial metal that people need copper that means that the building is still going on yeah you know in china in a huge sure. way silver move i still you know i mean i look at it now it's like okay is that because the dollar went down yesterday well that's still out there like okay what really got that going yeah you know? silver's pulled back pretty hard man you only, oh, yeah. you only have seven pennies now yeah stay right there folks tommy and i come right back dow dow industrials up 58 nasdaq is up 16 and uh, the futures, the and the uh, X futures are actually down um, four right now. S and P's are up three. Come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. 
Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 67. Nasdaq's up 18. S&Ps are up 5. And, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you are going to see right under featured content, 900th edition coming up this Monday. you got three days. You ready for it, man? I'm ready, Monday. man. Monday. I, I love the idea that in a, just in an addition that the, the goal's been running. I mean, it makes it a lot easier. I'll tell you it sure that. does, man. We had 1454. <laughs> what what yeah. is that, a six-year high yesterday? Yeah, seriously. That's, uh, yeah. You'll have something to talk about in Monday's issue of the Gold there's, Report, there's, I expect. There's no doubt. So, 900th issue coming this Monday. We're running the sale through the end of this month but it's a great time to sign up right now new issues come out monday right? right get that action you get access access to all the archived issues when you sign up as in you can go back to last week see the active positions in there what you're talking about and then new issue published monday morning and um so the way we're doing it is we got kind of a tiger dollar sale but it matches up with a year of the gold report and you can sign up for a year for 495 bucks man normally price is 695 that price is going up to I believe 785 for the year at least and, and um the monthly come august 1st is going to be 97 dollars a month i mean heck of a deal that we're putting up and so you can click the button right under featured content 900th gold report tiger dollar sale and the way it works is you first purchase your tiger dollars which is you're going to spend 495 you're going to get 200 bonus, more than a 40% bonus on your money. You'll end up with 695 Tiger Dollars, and then you can use those Tiger Dollars and spend them directly, and you'll see that pop up. There's your 900th Tiger Dollar sale. You're okay. spending 495. You're going to end up with 695. And so the way that works is you end up with 695 Tiger Dollars, and then you just pull up the gold report. You'll get an email with that Tiger Dollar code. You'll be able to apply for the gold report. You're good for a year, and you lock in that price of 695 grandfathered in when it goes up on August 1st. Um, and if for some reason, I don't know why you wouldn't want the gold report right now because, man, it's rocking. But those are Tiger Dollars. You can use them for anything. So other subscribers out there, take advantage of it as well because that's more than a 40% sure. bonus, which is more than we ever do. And you can apply those six ninety five to a year of um, whatever you'd like or just uh, your monthly subscriptions going forward. So that'll run through the end of the month. But new issue published Monday, man. Check it out. Get a year for four ninety five. dollars um, That might be one of our best deals we've ever done, man. We were looking at the grandfathered right. rates. And, um, you know, we've done some sales in the past. We talked about for the 600th issue, we did 60 weeks for $600. Right. That's 10 bucks a week. Um, this is less than that. And you're, you're signing up for only a year versus, um, so four ninety five. Check it out on the front page. 877-927-6648. You know, uh, let's go over to Walmart again. Walmart, you know, they got something going here because, you know, they, they came <laughs> roaring all the way back. 
Um, they're laying at highs. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, they've... I, come on, Bloomberg, catch up, yeah, baby. exactly. There we go. Okay, what are they out on? August 15th. Oh, uh, long, they're, they're, so, so picture, we have lots... You would just show me the numbers next week. Next yeah. week is a big week. I'll okay? pull it up and go over it. Yeah. I, mean, I heard today, I think, we're about 15% through the... Um, beginning of the S&P earnings okay. so far. But next week alone, we started off Monday with Halliburton. We get Tuesday, JetBlue, Coke, Lockheed Martin, United Technologies, Chipotle, Snapchat, Visa. Wednesday, we get some big ones, Tesla, Facebook, Boeing. That'll be interesting, Boeing on oh, Wednesday. Yeah. Ford, um, so Tesla, Ford, both on Wednesday. Man, it doesn't even stop. Thursday, Starbucks, Intel, Google, Dow. And Friday, Ooh. we get McDonald's and Twitter. Nice. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure there's even more beyond that. That's just the, the namesake that are... And, and look at, you know... Talk about revivals, man. Big time, okay? You know, I believe this... Yeah, it just hit a high. Look at that 52-week low. Three. 383 to 765. So they got the people back in. They Pretty did. amazing, right? It it's is. It's like, wow. It is. Look at this. I mean... Yeah, you got to back it up more to find the, the trough that we yeah. had to go through. So... Pretty remarkable. You're talking about a four-year hiatus to recover from that. Yeah. 2015. Salmonella, right? Is yeah. That what it was. Yeah. Yeah. And it seemed like it was one after the other after oh, the other. Oh, it sure was. They had a problem. You know. Yeah. Well, it went from 7.57. Well, what, what month is that? That's October of 2015, and then bottomed out in February of 2018. Oof. And then got it all back. I know. <laughs> in no yeah. time. The thing that's intriguing, which is going to be really cool about uh, when they come out with numbers here, and even is that technically, to me, that this is going to pull back, and this is why I'm saying that you had the the first high was established out here. Well, yeah, the first high was established with 9.6 million shares. Then you tested it with 14. They had the disaster happen. You come down with monster volume, and we'll come back up here with nine. 0.4 million shares, 11 million shares anemic. So what would happen to me is that this 758.61, if it's over that when they're coming out with their numbers, which is only next Wednesday, I think you said, right? I'll pull it up again. Okay. Yeah, I believe so. It's Wednesday uh, or Thursday. Then you, you would have a shot to go higher. If that's actually under that, it's like, oh, man, that thing can do a little pullback. Okay, Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. That's Tuesday. even better. There we go. You know? So this is going to be an interesting one. And one of the Tigers are telling us it's... Uh, um, oh, there's the, okay, so yeah, it's a smaller PD. Um, yeah, going forward, it's a 57, but right now it's a 13, really. That's what it's saying. The, you know. Oh, that's earnings per share, the P. Yeah. It's saying 93. I, I know. Look I don't at know that. That's, that's right. That's, I saying. know. He said it's, it's interesting. So the estimates. estimates. Bloomberg wouldn't lie, would it? <laughs> Not in <laughs> purpose. Not on purpose. Yeah, even one of the okay, one of the tigers in the den has saying that that PE on the Bloomberg's move jumping around. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think does Chipotle have a bigger PE than Amazon? <laughs> I think they might. They, they, they better not. That's it. I mean, Amazon's right around that. I know it is because yeah. I looked it up. Eighty-seven. It, so, right. So I don't think that uh, Chipotle is going to take over the world faster than Amazon for no. growth. Yeah. Don't think so. Yeah. Oh, you know, last night um, I didn't get one. I was looking around to see if anyone got one. I went to uh, I went to Dats. Okay. Uh, in St. Pete. In St. Pete. Okay. And so restaurant St. Pete. They have a bunch of restaurants. Uh, restaurant group. They have a yeah. Dats in Tampa as well. Yeah. Top place. And I got a burger. It was great. Uh, but they had a burger Beyond Meat. Okay. On the menu. Okay. First time. First time I've ever seen that. Nice. That's on the in, in with so the brand said, name. It's. I was just going to ask. It said yes. the Beyond. Okay. Beyond, yeah. With the brand how's, name. Can we pull up Beyond? Let's see how's yeah. doing. B Y N D. Um, B -Y -N -D. Because the other one they have, the other brand is the Impossible, Impossible. one, right? Yeah. Now, I've seen that. I've had that at a restaurant myself six okay. months ago or something. Pretty good. Really, yeah. Okay, still at highs. Yeah. 174 bucks. You want to talk about PEs? Well, they got no earnings, so they're not available. Right. <laughs> and they're a $10.4 billion company. $10.4 billion company, and they take in $52 million. I mean, the scary thing is even next, even next year... They're only going to take in $360 million all fiscal next year um, to put things in perspective. Can we go to Tyson now? Yeah. Because Tyson's going to be coming out with an identical product for all intensive purposes probably. They, yeah. were, they were a equity partner in Beyond Meat. They had, you know, they, yeah. they were there so that they understand in terms of what they were doing. And they're a $29 billion company. So they're only three times the value of Beyond Meat. 
and they're taking in $42 billion this year, and Beyond Meat's only going to take in $300 million next year, and Beyond Meat makes one product that Tyson is going to make, let alone with everything else, and I actually, I think I told you, I tried, so I haven't tried Beyond Meat, and okay. the, the big thing is the burger, but I found, not even looking for it, in the frozen section, they had like the crumbled ground beef, okay. so an imitation, you just throw it in the saucepan and heat it up, uh, and I did not enjoy it at all. Now, now I'm still going to try the Beyond no, Meat, because yeah. it's real different, you know? But I was joking. I was and look what Tyson says to the bottom line. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. I don't know why, um, you know, they don't, the market thinks they just can't take them out. We'll see. Seriously. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up 32. NASDAQ is up 4. S&P's flat. Got some volatility. Let's go to our man Jim in Minneapolis. What's going on, brother? You know, we are just uh, sweating with everybody else around the country, Tommy. Okay. Yeah. Well, 90, you know, 94 and humid and, uh, you know, all of the above. Yeah, well, you're just going to have to get in one of those nice lakes you have out there today, man. Actually, I'll probably be out on the, uh, the Mississippi River up here is really nice. So oh, we, cool. Uh, That's We fun. go out on the, Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere on the water, right? Got to do it. Totally, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, real quick, I was going to uh, Microsoft just looking for. Got, got a, actually got a client that's looking to sell some by the end of the year, and let, you know. And I said, hey, don't be greedy, but um, 
What would you look for a, a kind of a target on this move here? So you got it's an ABC up. 131 should be, let's see, 131. I did this, I see. Uh, so 93. 93, 131. Oh, so yeah. about 40 bucks, right? Yeah. Which gets you uh, 59. 159 is the target. Gotcha. Yeah. And that, yeah. that's the week of, uh, what's that, July? The week of June 7th. Though on a weekly, I took out that B point. And then, you know, I mean, it followed through kind of nice. Uh, it joined, uh, joined the trillion dollar market cap. Club. Oh, cool. Look at that. Let's look. Yep, there she is. Look at that. Maybe Bill Gates is the number two richest person in the world again. He, he lost out to the Louis Vuitton guy yesterday, oh but maybe he'll God. come back up. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you. Yeah. It's quite a bad Unbelievable. Right, isn't I that? know. That's, that's pretty amazing. That's a great company, man. That is. I would just say it's just had such a run. If you got to sell before the end of the year, that's a little dicey. Yeah. Just be careful. And I, if, you, if you get a pot, maybe sell it off even from this level. Yeah. Oh, I, that's what I always, you know, rather be greedy than... Uh, just had such a run. In the long not, term, it's awesome. But All right, see. gentlemen, have an awesome weekend. Have a great and, one. Uh, take it by storm. Stay cool out there, Jim. <laughs> take it by storm, Take it by baby. storm. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks, Thanks, take man. care, man. Stay right there, folks. Fast Market coming up next. Then we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks.